I want to show you one very interesting thing which I myself discovered only recently. It is a special contraption for precision drilling, meaning high precision drilling, with very thin drills. With a regular drilling machine, this is almost impossible, because the chuck trashes around and you can't feel how hard you are pressing down. Here everything is put together really precisely, there are practically no gaps at all. Also, it has the Jacobs 0-4 mm chuck with jaws. Of course, all this costs accordingly. The chuck jaws also have very nice gaps. And now we will test all this out. One of my subscribers sent me these micro drills, and by the way, they are much sharper than the modern Chinese ones. The diameter of these drills is 0.5 mm. I also have drills with 0.3 mm and even 0.1 mm diameters. But they are carbide and therefore very fragile. So we will test them next time. When tightening it with a wrench, it is better not to overdo it. This can damage the jaws and over time mess with the accuracy of the drill. Although the drill is thin, it is clear that there is still some space, which means that we can make it even tighter. We insert it all into the spindle of our milling machine and tighten it. Immediately you can see that the bounce is minimal. This ring is for manual control. We will use this 2mm brass strip to test it. Usually, the thinner the drill, the more revolutions you need, so we will put it on max. It turned out to be very convenient to feel the pressure on the drill with my hand, which will naturally reduce the likelihood of breaking it. Also, I checked out the sides of the side cap while operating and it is tiny. It is very important to me, but could also come in handy for those who drill the printed circuits boards and many others. One subscriber sent me this small watchmaking tab but without any markings. The hole turned out to be too small, so we drill it out to 0.6. By the way, this is already a carbide drill and it did not break, even though it doesn't deal well with lateral skews. Now, however, it is completely different. There are even 0.25mm watchmaking tabs out there. Someday I'll buy one and try it out. We got a thread of this quality, which is very good, considering the very small size of the holes and threads. We are slowly moving forward and I have almost finished the music box by now. Soon I will post the video on my channel. Overall, this is a very interesting contraption. It will help a lot with work, but for now, bye-bye.